Hey there folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to test your vehicle's fuel pressure with a bi-directional OBD scan tool. We're using our King Bullen K7 today, I'll put a link in the description where you can get one. A couple reasons why we're using the scan tool over a traditional fuel pressure tester. First one is safety and comfort. We can sit in the vehicle's driver's seat, we don't have to access the uh, service port of the fuel line and get any fuel on us or cause any damage to that. Second one the modern vehicles usually have a lot more pressure on the high pressure fuel pump than what a traditional fuel pressure tester can handle so we can get both the high pressure and low pressure sides tested on this scan tool so first thing we're going to do is start the vehicle and get it to operating temperature and then show you what's up all right so we're going to go to auto search here and scan our vin All right, so you're going to select your marketing region, then we're going to go to system selection, and we go ECM, and you're going to select your equipment according to what your vehicle is equipped with. Then we're going to go down to read data stream, and we find our fuel system data. Now we're going to scroll down and go to desired fuel pressure and desired fuel rail pressure. Scroll down a little bit more. And we're going to select fuel pressure sensor and our fuel rail pressure sensor. And we hit OK. Now this gives us the readout of all those values. We're going to go to combine, select all of them, and we can see them on a graph, and everything will be compared. Alright, and the good thing about the layout of the graph, you can actually see the values going across in a live stream, and also at the bottom here, it has a nice comparable feature. You can do your desired fuel pressure and look directly below it at your actual fuel pressure and over here in the yellow you can see your desired fuel rail pressure and just below it you can compare your actual fuel rail pressure and as you can see the values do fluctuate on the actual readouts compared to the desired ones and that is okay it is fluctuating around where we want it to so now you know that you don't have any issues with your fuel pressure so that's all there is to this one Hopefully you found this helpful. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe.